and he's been getting away with and and he's done a good job for himself we've both earned this opportunity i've been winning he'd been doing all right i mean tommy beat him up but it's not as bad as i'm gonna beat him up you know speaking of tommy fury yeah you know, he was uh under 30 years old and and you're you're right, right around there you represent one of the youngest opponents that jake has fought in, in quite a while do you think that will be on your side in this fight youth he is a little younger than me, so he might have the youth, but I have, you know, I'm in the prime of my age right now. 32 feels like a pretty strong year. Um, so my man is still here. You know, I feel like Shaq out here, the way I've been dunking on And, uh, you know, I'm just so strong that I feel like, you know, I'm reaching my prime, but who knows? 36 could be prime for me or even... You know, 42 might even be prime. Like, look at Yoel Romero. I've, I've, uh, there's some interesting MMA fighters that have gone a long extended career that I have looked up to for a long time. Dan Henderson, um, Anderson Silva. Obviously, Jake beat Anderson Silva in the boxing ring. I was there for that. I was front row for that. And uh, Jake wanted to ignore me back then. So he he knows that I was right there. His little coach, uh Flores was right there <laughs> shaking my hand and he's been talking a lot of yaps since this took off so you know I'm looking to show the world that they're all a bunch of sneaky snakes and I'm gonna beat the hell out of that Disney boy yeah I, I would say that fans would agree that you deserve the shot like every you, you had a run in the UFC then you've gone on to be very successful which is very admirable because a lot of guys leave the ufc and they feel a little lost but you've gone to the, the bare knuckle and it's argue i mean you can't even argue that you're the best bare knuckle boxer in the world right now but i will ask you what's the difference between bare knuckle boxing and traditional boxing because i believe there is a difference uh it's the bone on bone um there is you know you get a good you get a good cast uh in boxing on your fist a good wrap and it fits in there tight in that 10 ounce glove and there's no space in between the cast and the glove. And uh, obviously that cast gets signed off on by the commission. Everything is legal and, and done well. And um, you can hit a little harder maybe with that glove. And there's it's just the bone on bone classing that's it. the people that I hit don't seem to like. Um, it might be a little harder to knock Jake's teeth out with the gloves on, but I'm still looking to land those shots and, and maybe knock out a couple of those molars. In terms of the style of boxing where it's a little more nuanced, there's a little more of the sweet science involved, where bare knuckle seems to, it's a little more straightforward, which has played right into your, your style, I believe. Are you going to switch up your style a little bit to kind of to the last eight rounds and, and fight, quote unquote, the sweet science? Or you just come forward bare knuckle style against Jake? Well, I think the defense is easier with the big gloves. Obviously, it's it's a little harder to defend when, you know, when when you block a glove and it, it can't yeah. come through, but a fist will sneak right in there. And, um, you know, I train with gloves, headgear. Uh, I train to put pressure on for all of the rounds uh, to bring it to you and and to expend my energy and on fight night, I will have an endless amount of energy to constantly come getting. I'm I'm just coming in your face, bro. I'm coming in your face all night long. I'm going to be there all night long, just coming in your face, punching you in your teeth, trying to knock them out of your mouth. And um, I, I, I won't stop. I mean, it's it's not that it's a bare knuckle style. It's just a pressure style of boxing. And I do it in the boxing gym with the gloves on, with the headgear. Uh, that's just how I fight. I, I I don't like to waste time, but there's still a strategy to it, if you will. I, I slip, I move, and and I can defend a little better with the gloves. Yeah, um, interesting way to describe your style. I like that. Um, <laughs> I think it, that's why people will are giving you a shot in this fight. That's why people are excited about this because it's like you fight one style, and I don't think you're gonna go in there timid. I don't think you're going to go in there uh, and kind of sit back. I think you're going to bring it to, to Jake. And that's why everyone should be excited for this fight on July 20th. When the fight starts and Jake Paul takes his first step back, right there, he's lost. 
because I'm going to stay on top of him like glue. And um, he's not going to come forward. He's not going to meet me in the middle. He's not going to stay in the middle and cut angles. He's going to back up. And the second he backs up, he's going to start this point system. And eventually that point system is going to crumble underneath him. And my power punches, my significant strikes, and my pressure forward style is going to add up damage on his face and his body will start to fall apart. When you do get your hand raised, um, you're going to have to stay in the boxing world because beating Jake yes. Paul is a, is a big thing. Right. Who are That's some right. names in the boxing world that you would like to fight if you beat Jake Paul? I mean, I think the Caleb Plant fight would be incredible. Um, he's got tons and tons of, I mean, he's incredible. Uh, he's, but he's had, you know, he's taken some losses um, against only the top opposition. I mean, obviously, Bare Knuckle wants me back. And, and could you imagine a fight like me versus Caleb Plant in Bare Knuckle? I think Caleb Plant that? is crazy enough. Caleb Plant does not say no to anything. That guy wants all this. He'll fight Ryan Garcia in an arena. He'll fight anyone. He'll he'll literally fight anyone. So I, I could see that happen. I think uh, I think that would be incredible, and I think that's something I could earn. And, um, you know, I'm going to earn it with a good performance July 20th. Well, if you win, you should fight Mike Tyson because that's how this should work. That If they want to offer that, I I have said I will go in there and – and uh, you know, try to not get hurt by Mike. And um, <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I want to get him that paycheck too. I don't want to steal this paycheck out from under him, and I could take over on the Netflix, and it'd be Mike and Mike in the morning on. Oh freaking, yeah, perfect. You but know, you're, you're perfectly him. fine. You're perfectly fine ending Jake Paul's career, but you 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 just want to help Mike get a payday. That's just respect, right? Yeah, both of those things, man. I don't want to take the the money from Mike. He's definitely earned his opportunity if if his health holds up and everything is good for him and uh or if he you know if he even wants to fight after i beat up jake uh you know sky's the limit but i'm i'm focused on july 20th and i'm tunnel vision to that to that night july 20th mike perry jake paul mike is looking to upset the apple cart and ruin all of jake's Big plans to fight Mike Tyson. You can watch it on ppv.com. And you can show up live in Tampa. I will be there ringside to watch this fight because it's going to be epic. Mike Perry, thank you for the time. Yo, what's up? It's Mike Perry. Make sure y'all watch me beat up Jake Paul at ppv.com on July 20th.